Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch. My name is Gustav Miller and today's whiskey is the, I think it's the third one in this series that I'm doing on Jura whiskies, single malt whiskies from the Isle of Jura and I've got my cup for the occasion. I've already reviewed the 10 year old Origins as well as the 16 year old Jurax own and today I'm doing some taste, a tasting review on the Jura Superstition and I will also make some food pairing recommendations for this whiskey at the end of the video. I've already poured my dram, I'd like to let it stand for a while before I, before I taste it. But let's talk about the distillery. Jura Distillery established in 1810 and owned by White and McKay and of course situated on the Isle of Jura uh, off the west coast of Scotland right here at the bottom lowlands highlands the well-known Speyside area and the very well-known Isla and then just to the north of Isla is the Jura the island of Jura very interesting the name comes from a Norse word that means island of the deer because on this island there are less than 200 human inhabitants but about 5,000 plus deer on this island so very interesting island one of my favorite whiskey distillery destinations my son and I visited it a while ago and there you can see the island on the horizon that strip of sea is a 800 meter strip of sea that separates Isla from Jura and you can take the ferry that's the ferry that you can take to go across to the Jura Island and that is the village where the whiskey distillery is situated I've got very fond memories of a Jura distillery on the island of Jura the whiskey. The whiskey is a no-age statement and it is a combination of heavily peated whiskies and non-peated whiskies. The peated component is about between 10 and 20 percent and the rest is non-peated whiskey. Why superstition? Jura superstition. According to the website this whiskey was launched in remembrance of some of the superstitions of the community that used to live for many ages on this island and that is why you can see the Ankh cross symbol on both the gift box and the bottle and it is believed that it is a sign or a symbol of good luck plus of course many many other superstitions part of this communities belief system etc bit of information on this gift box of the whiskey it says here lightly peated at the bottom there it's bottled at 43 percent no information about chill filtration and i will have to get my glasses Let's see what it says here on the gift box. Jura Superstition is crafted from a selection of the finest eight Jura single malts. The mysterious spirit has a unique style and character with tastes of tangy cinnamon, ginger spice, honey and whispers of salty sea spray, rich coffee and roasted chestnuts. The third one in this series on Jura whiskies, whiskies from the island of Jura. A deep mahogany color with glistening golden highlights according to the website. Quite dark, probably a bit of uh, artificial coloring added because there's no information to the contrary. Very light peat smoke but it's a sweet peat smoke on the nose some beautiful honey aromas sweet and woody and then that typical saltiness from the Jura whiskies vanilla toffee 
it was matured in ex bourbon casks so one can understand the honey and the vanilla and the citrus notes that I'm picking up now and there's always a quite an earthiness to the Jura whiskies for me personally and I'm picking it up here as well and then the maltiness and the licorice a very very nice nose quite complex quite a lot of aromas drifting around on this nose hmm hmm The light peat smoke on the nose is also on the palate, but there's a spiciness and a, some cinnamon and ginger going on with that salty sea spray on the palate as well, and then some roasted nuts. I must agree with the coffee, and then some more honey on the palate as well, and some more peat smoke. And the finish is a medium long finish with a bit of oak spices in the peat smoke some salted toffee mm. very nice whiskey not as full-bodied as the prophecy which i'm going to review next Quite a rich whiskey. Some bitter notes to balance the sweetness. The maltiness is there. Quite an entertaining whiskey, I must say. Jura Superstition, 43% alcohol by volume, so you can add a few drops. Quite entertaining, I must say. Let's see what a few drops of water will do. More toffee and some of those earthy notes. Honeyed toffee. Mmm. And a few drops of water makes it even more mellow. Very entertaining whiskey. If I have to summarize what I'm experiencing, both on the nose and the palate with this whiskey, then I would say... Salted toffee with a light smoke. That'll be the summary for me for this whiskey. Salted toffee with a light peat smoke. Price-wise, around $60 in the US, £35 in the UK. And here in South Africa, around 900 Rand. South African Rand for the Jura Superstition Whiskey. If you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack, then I would recommend... That you connect with the salty notes in this whiskey. So a good idea, and I've tried this, has worked very well, is some pitted olives. The saltiness and the oiliness from the olives, olives will, uh, it, it really gives you a good connection with the saltiness and the oiliness in the whiskey. If you want to go the other route, you can try a cheese and grape skewers. Especially if you use a cheddar cheese with a bit of saltiness then the sweet and salty of the food snack will be a very nice connection with the saltiness in the whiskey and the sweetness, honey sweetness uh, in the whiskey. Crackers with uh, goat's cheese and ginger preserve works excellent. I've tried that. It works very, very well. And then, of course, your lint excellence with sea salt. Perfect pairing for this whiskey. But for today, I have chosen a small cracker with some goat's cheese. But the goat's cheese that I'm using here is a goat's cheese with honey. It says that on the packaging, so they package it and, and produce it as that goat's cheese with honey. And then I've added a dollop of beetroot hummus or beetroot puree. So I'm expecting that the beetroot puree, which is a, quite an earthy, uh, quite some earthy notes will connect with the whiskey and then the cheese creaminess of the cheese and the honey and the cheese will be a good connection with the sweetness in the whiskey let's see if this works
Mmm. Mmm. Beetroot earthiness, the honey, cream cheese, and the crunchiness of the cracker with the black pepper on it. Mm. Oh boy! Something that you will have to try soon. Very good pairing. A cracker with goat's cheese and honey and beetroot puree on top with Jura Superstition. Thank you for watching. Remember to share this video with your friends and I'll see you soon for the next Jura tasting review and food pairing recommendations from my side, Slancho.